Hey, Danny at Dino Days. Um, making a video today because people have asked me what fuel is best for a Mitsubishi Colt CZT or a Valley Art or a, a Smart Brabus 4.4. And the answer is 99 run fuel, whether that be Shell V Power, which is what I use, or Tesco Momentum. Um, the reason for this is because all modern cars that have got an ECU respond better to better fuel, or, the, or they should do, because um, a modern ECU can uh, retard itself if it senses uh, poor fuel uh, through knock and things like that. Um, when we're mapping cars, we require them on 99 run fuel for the best results. This is because, again, uh, when mapping, uh, the better the fuel, the less knock you've got, more time you can run, things like that. So it's always about power. Uh, I use uh, 99 run fuel in my Mitsubishi Colt because I get better miles per gallon. I know it protects my engine. There's all sorts of additives in there that, that help prolong the life of an engine, uh, cleaning as, as the fuel runs through it. Uh, but for me, 99 run fuel, it just adds power. Well, when I say adds power, it actually... It, it's the power that the car's supposed to run because all figures in Europe uh, at the flywheel. So, for example, a a Focus ST225 uh, is 225 brake horsepower, 225 PS, and that is on the best available fuel when tested. So, if you were to stick 95 run fuel in that car, it wouldn't make 225 brake horsepower as standard and it's the same with the Mitsubishi Colts. Now you can run 90, 95 run fuel um, but the ECU is designed to make sure that that's safe and it's going to be safe. In different countries other than the UK uh, there are substandard fuels and in some countries you can get higher octane fuels so the, uh, the ECU has to have tolerances so that you've got um, a guy in say I don't know Poland or something and they they might have uh, worse fuel than us and when they put say 95 run or substandard uh, run fuels in the the ECU knows that and it can make sure that it's going to run safe by making adjustments um, in this country so we've got 99 run fuel uh, which is Shell V power or Tesco momentum you can have uh, the best performance that your car is able to create on that fuel and if you run 95 run whilst the ECU will do its job and it will obviously still run safe in standard form it will not be as it, it will not be as quick uh, the engine will not produce as much power um, and it and it will hold you it will hold you back and when we're mapping etc at dyno days uh, 99 run fuel is is the best to have um, for that purpose because you can tune better on that fuel um, so that's what i that's why i use it uh, it's what you should be putting in in my opinion um we uh I've, I've i'm getting about 350 miles to a tank of fuel uh in a colt and that is with mixed driving so some days i will come across um a car and it wants to have a bit of a play and if i have a bit of a play then the car's obviously got the got the performance that i need um and other days when i'm just pootling around on a roads and stuff like that then then it's returning great miles per gallon so i think uh, it's the best of uh, both worlds but you can get more miles out of a tank of v power than you can on 95 right and if you don't believe me then you need to go and do that but if you're asking what is the best fuel to run in a Mitsubishi Colt CZT, like I am, then it is definitely 99 run fuel, so go ahead and, and try that out. Now, what you can't do is mix the fuel uh, and expect gains. So if you're going to go from using 95 run to using 99 run, um, then what you need to do is make sure that you're running down to the, uh, the fuel warning light and then filling the tank up with V-Power. So it's just V-Power in there. If you have half a tank of 95 rod and half a tank of 99 rod, then the 95 rod will dilute the 99 rod down and your octane rating will be lower. So don't do that. It's also pointless putting £10 worth of V-Power in if you've got three quarters of a tank of 95. That's just a total waste of time. So make sure that you've only got V-Power in there. Then give it a go and let me know what you think. Um, if you want to prove that by bringing it down to Dino Days, sticking it on the rolling road, and 
and see the difference, then by all means do that. That'll cost you 30 quid to see what power your car's running. And on 99 run fuel, you're giving yourself the best chance of making the best power. If you're gonna run 95 run fuel, then the ECU might not give you that power and therefore you might be disappointed. So make sure you're running it if you can. It's a little bit more expensive, but again, the additives that are in there are well worth it. Some people use octane boosters and stuff. That's all a pointless waste of time. Uh, so if you've got a full tank of 95 rod and you stick some Red X booster in there, that's a waste of time. That's just not going to help you at all. So don't do that. So just stick with 99 rod fuel. Pointless putting an octane booster in 99 rod fuel. That's not going to help either. That's all... That's all pretty much nonsense, believe me. I've tested everything I can on that dyno. And the reason that we believe in 99 Ron fuel is because we have tested it. Um, the base test that we did many years ago, uh, and we have done since, but the base test that we did was on a, uh, uh, a pretty much standard um, Honda Civic EP3. And we ran tests on 95 Ron, 97 Ron and 99 Ron. And whilst the biggest gains were between 95 and 97, it was a total of about 11 brake horsepower between 95 ROM fuel and 99 ROM fuel. So even on NA, anything modern, it's gonna it's gonna help. Um, so yeah, so run that experiment yourself if you want. I um, I have many many times, and I will always run 99 ROM fuel. So cheers. Thanks guys. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.